Hello, everyone. Welcome to part 11. I'm feeling very relaxed, very fantastic of this Minecraft playthrough. We've been um, working a little bit on our basic farms here. We got uh, a nice work in progress of our um, wheat farm. We got the most gorgeous berry farm. We have a beautiful little sugarcane farm running, and everything's just kind of coming together. Just basic, easy farms. And today, I kind of want to work on the last of the basic farm gamut that we're going to do um, at least for round one of the basic farms the, the last thing we want to do we definitely need ourselves some wood right so we need a basic little tree farm that's fantastic um i kind of want to move this over so let's uh let's move our operations over here actually well uh, actually i don't want to do that let's move our composting operations over here for the time being um so what I'm thinking of for this uh, little project is we need a somewhat respectable area. So I want to have like a wall. In fact, let's uh, cut this out here. And I don't know if we'll be able to finish this um, in this episode. But we're going to do our damnedest here, folks. We're going to try. We're going to try nice and hard to finish this um, farm in this episode we're gonna see if it works but uh it might not it might not and that's because you know what we already made peace with it we've made peace it might not work and that's okay so that's the fun of building is you know sometimes you just don't have enough time and then you just come back another day and you make it back into the most gorgeous little thing so let's come over here let's grab some more wheat and uh get some more seeds try and make ourselves a little bit more bone meal for the uh eventual construction of these greenhouses um, just fantastic. It's coming along really well. I've really enjoyed, um, I've never used a composter, really. Um, they always seemed a little bit inefficient to me. I've always had better ways of getting bone meal. Uh, but now that I'm just starting a world for the first time, this is my first time actually using a composter, and it's really been enjoyable, you know. I've really enjoyed using a composter this time around. And in fact, I should be harvesting these berries, too, and, um, composting them, because we need a lot of bone meal. What can I say? A, a, a fella needs bone meal. I, you know, I can't lie. This is what I need to have in my life. This one is not growing for some reason. You are really... You, you know, he's having... You know, I like to think that every berry bush has its own personality. And just like every person is going to grow at different rates, you can't expect everyone to learn everything at the same time. And everyone's a different person. Each berry bush is unique. And I can't sit here and, you know, I could bone meal him. I could replace him. I could do any number of things. But at the end of the day... That berry bush is just on a different journey than the rest of the other ones, and that's totally acceptable. He's a valid, wonderful berry bush, just like the rest. All right, we got a little bit more bone meal. We're going to just turn the rest of these berries here into a little bit more bone meal. And this is fantastic. This is really coming along, actually. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that in the bone meal chest. All right, so what I kind of went thinking here, I'm thinking wall, block, block, sapling, block, sapling sapling block sapling block block wall what does this put us at holy shit that's a big greenhouse that's fine that's fine i think that that's respectable um let's go and knock out this little line here because we do need to have that many you know it, it, there's really no way around it because the problem with the, uh some of these trees is some trees um, can grow into giant trees. And you know what? That's always the way to go if you can. You always want to do giant trees because um, they give you so much more wood per sapling. But you know that I, I want to have that availability. So, um, let's see. And I want to have two between the wall and the sapling. That seems like a good idea. I want to do wall, block, block, sapling, block, sapling, sapling, block, sapling, wall, wall, block. Okay. I hear a skeleton, but I'm not going to stress about it. I know if he comes out here having a little peek around to look at our gorgeous little, beautiful, cute little farms, that uh, he's going to start roasting and toasting. And you know what? I'm not going to stress out over whether or not a skeleton roasts and toasts because that's the life that he's chosen for himself. Now, I do have a small issue. Number one, this berry farm is off center. Of, of this greenhouse and that's a problem that's its own special kind of problem we can worry about that later but what we do need to do is knock this back a little bit more so we'll go ahead and cut this back 
we'll fix the whole problem with the with the berry farm later on. We'll just rebuild it. Oh, oh, see, he's he's under the tree, so he might cause a problem for us. But again, you know, right now, the only thing that can happen is good things because we'll get some get some good items from him. Now he's cooking. There we go. Let's see what we got. What's our bounty? Another arrow. See, that's good. Oh, and uh, oh, and he gave us two bones. Perfect. I will absolutely use bone meal. I could have maybe tried for the doggo, but it's only two bones, right? So, I mean, I'm not going to have a dog without his consent. And the dog's not going to consent for two bones. He wants a little bit more than that. And that's respectable. Every dog has a right to choose how many bones he'll pick an owner over. It's absolutely his choice. All right, so let's um, let's try and make a little bit more bone meal here. And then we'll uh, head on back to the sleeping area where we sleep. All right, we've got a little bit more bone meal there. Love that. This is coming along really well. I think we should definitely have enough bone meal for our project by the end of it. Um, so this is great. Let's go ahead and sleep. And, uh, you know... Make sure that nothing sneaks up on us while we're working. Let's make another shovel while we're here. That's a great idea. And put our arrow away. That's a good find. And uh, it seems that we did come across a few more saplings. So I'll compost that as well. I'll get rid of my sticks and all this stuff I definitely don't need. Okay, we're about to need another chest. But that's totally fine. It's totally fine. You know, once you get a lot of items, you need to put them somewhere. Okay, so um, we now have this area kind of zoned out here. Uh, the next question we have is how large. So we want to do the same thing. We want to do wall, block, block, sapling, block, sapling, sapling, block, sapling. Did I do that right? Wall, block, block, sapling, block, sapling, sapling, block, sapling, block, wall, break. Okay. So this is kind of the area we're looking at here. And um, let me just make sure that I, where I broke this specifically, I want to make sure I broke it after the wall. So we have wall, block, block, sapling, block, sapling, sapling, block, sapling, block, block, wall, and then empty. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and connect these two little lines we made. Try and run them into each other here. So we can get a pretty decent idea of the size that we're working with. And here we go, just like that. We now have that done. Let's drop down a level, take this part out here. This is going to be a bit of a bigger project, so I definitely don't think we're going to finish here, but that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and take this out now. And this will look pretty good, I think. And what we're left with is... Um, this grass chunk right here, this little hunk of grass is going to be the size of the greenhouse. And, you know, when I made it, I thought it would be pretty big, but I actually don't think that's too unreasonable. I think that, that looks fine. It's got a, it's a big square, but you know, it doesn't take up an uh, an an eyesore worth of land. So that's really good, I think. So um, the next thing I want to do is I kind of want to. Um, pull this back a little bit. I like having little walls. This feels a little cramped right here. So let's pull it back by two blocks. And um, that'll look really good, I think. And uh, let's just pull these blocks up to the hill. And, um, you know, just do a little bit of terraforming. Not much. I'm not much of a terraformer. I'm not good at it. But, uh, you know, we definitely need some practice. So that's a good thing, I think. Um, I want to pull these two blocks back as well. So let's do this. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start digging these out just like we did that little channel there. And that will get us a little bit more breathing room when we're working with this uh, construction. And, uh, you know, it'll just look a little bit nicer, I think. And uh, let's knock that down. And uh, there we go. This will look good. I hear some chickens. Maybe they've laid an egg, laid an egg for me worth checking eventually i'll look at that one day okay i missed a dirt block certainly don't want to do that of course so 
Uh, let's go ahead and continue digging this out. Just checking the time. Make sure that I'm not keeping you guys from whatever activities you may have in your day. Uh, but, ooh, and it looks like we revealed a little bit of a cave. But I believe in my heart that we've been in this. Yes, this is the one where we had two creeper blasts. I, I fondly remember this cave. So this cave is already thoroughly explored, actually. And it does not go much farther than that, so... It's not an issue for us. Um, we did run out of shovels, so we want to make a couple more shovels for sure, I think. And we'll come back, we'll harvest our farms and keep the bone meal running. Always want the bone meal running. Always what we want. Let's take a couple more sticks here. Let's actually do two shovels. A little bit more cobble. We might need to go get more cobblestone if we want to do any sort of bigger project, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, let's go ahead and put that over here, and then... Let's go harvest a couple things. Can you do this with sugar cane is uh, my next question. You sure can. Oh, hey, look at that. It worked too. So for the time being, until we get the farms built, I do want to just keep doing um, bone meal. But in saying that, I should stop at a certain point once I have enough bone meal. So let's go ahead and actually run the numbers because we are getting a decent amount now. So let's say we want to do um, gray, right? We want to do some gray. We need four bone meal for that. One, two, three, four. Next question. We want to do some light gray, right? We need one stack. We need one stack. How much do you need for one stack? You need eight dyes, right? So we need eight light gray dyes for that. How much will go into that? Well, you need nine light gray dyes because that's how the crafting recipe works. And if you want to divide that, or let's multiply that by 0.66667, that'll give us six. I could have told you that actually if I did mental math. So. Next, we're going to want to do six here. Final one, we're going to want to do all white. Now, how much are we going to need for all white? Well, we're going to need a stack, right? And if we're going to do a stack, we're going to need eight. So, let's continue to gather our bone meal until we have eight bone meal. And then, uh, we do have two more greenhouses to worry about after that. So, actually, I should move these over here just like so. And I don't know what colors we want to do on those greenhouses yet, but I want it to be some variant of the of the gray because, um, of course, you want um, you're gonna want a metal looking color. And if I have a magenta um, concrete, now it's gonna look beautiful. That would look ravishing. That's a great block. Nothing against the block itself, but unfortunately, it just doesn't look on like metal. It just doesn't look like metal. So. That's kind of what we're stuck with for right now. A non-metal looking block is not one that we want to use. It's great for its own purposes. Um, and it will find a warming, warm loving home elsewhere. But for now, we want to make use of those colder, more rejected colors that people don't like using. And um, of course, as always, we still have our wonderful small berry bush. He's on his own journey, growing when he wants to. And he shouldn't feel any pressure from any of us. He's a wonderful bush. And he's going to grow to be a great sprawling berry producer one day but on his own terms it's a wonderful bush all right so next let's go ahead and harvest whatever wheat we can while we were doing that work over there and continue on our bone meal journey together and we'll just throw down and we'll go and uh, get some sugar cane from our beautiful little sugar cane zone and i did break a little bit too much Sometimes you can get a little bit aggressive, but, you know, it's easy to repair, isn't it? So let's go ahead and put our sugar cane in. Wheat stays with us. Wheat seeds and berries go next. All right. There we go. And berries. Got another bone meal. Let's put the rest in here. And bone meal can go into the... Oh, not that one. Into the white column. And then again, we'll figure out what we want to do with the rest of the bone meal later. So, um, our next step, while we've still got a minute here, um, let's go ahead and continue breaking down um, this too wide area here. Give ourselves a little bit more space, make it a little bit less claustrophobic when we're actually building the physical greenhouse in this section. And uh, get ready to start putting down a little bit of our, um, a little bit of our stone to get ready for our tree farm but that's coming later for right now we have a lot of demolition to do so uh, in our last 20 seconds here I'm just gonna talk about dirt dirt is full of worms dirt has a lot of antioxidants um, highly would not recommend eating dirt dirt can be not 
delicious. And uh, grass can contain some uh, issues for digestion, so I don't want to eat grass either. So I'm glad we had that education on dirt. And um, what we have accomplished today, we've done a little bit more bone mealing, of course. And um, we've dug out the area for our next tree farm. And um, next time, we may continue working on the tree farm, or we may resume back our little greenhouse project. Um, so that is what's in the pipeline for the time being. And um, thank you all very much for watching, and uh, I guess we'll catch you on the next one whenever that happens to happen. Mm -hmm.